Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the three most common male insecurities. Now, before we get started, if this resonates with you and you feel like you'd like a personal touch, in other words, you'd like some help, understanding the male behavior, male perspective, that sort of thing, check out the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Okay, let's just jump right in. Those three, <laughs> wait, three, <laughs> that's six. We'll make it three uh, most common male insecurities. You know, I'm laughing about this, but I can tell you that this scares the heck out of me sharing this with you personally, because um, this is actually me being vulnerable because I, actually experiencing what exactly I'm sharing. So what I'm about to say is very common. Not all men share this insecurity. All men share these insecurities, but the vast majority of men have insecurities and it's all centered around feeling rejected. Okay. Feeling rejected, feeling unwanted, feeling unloved, that sort of thing. In fact, most human beings greatest fear is I'm not good enough. I'm not likable. I'm not lovable. At some deep core, this happens. In fact, dating triggers the number one emotional health issue, which centers around not loving oneself. This is a very common thing. In fact, it's one of the reasons why I wrote the book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway, as a way to be a vaccination to the emotional chaos of not feeling good enough, not feeling likable, not feeling lovable. So men, as well as women, have these insecurities and these fears. But I'm gonna go deeper into the specifics, those three things that are the predominant ones men fear when it comes to romantic relationships, okay? We're specifically talking about romantic relationships. And the first one happens to be in the bedroom. Many men have an insecurity of whether or not we're going to perform well for you. And this is especially true for men at midlife because the vast majority of men at midlife are taking the little blue pill and we have this fear of not having, you know, getting a heart on, not having an erection, having, you know, being able to please our woman. Okay. Now, a lot of men are very myopic. In other words, they're centered on getting themselves off. But there's a part of that reason is by being only focused on oneself, it's actually, you know, it's the subconscious being, you know, blocking that fear of not being able to perform for our partner. So a lot of men might appear selfish. It's because the subconscious is suppressing this absolute fear that we may not be able to please our partner, that we may not be good in bed, that our penis isn't large enough, isn't uh, strong enough, it isn't hard enough, that sort of thing, doesn't last enough, the premature ejaculation, all those things. Men have these fears just like women have their own fears when it comes to sex and performance and everything else. So this is a very common thing and many, many, many men experience this, okay? All right, the second one is centers around being a provider protector. Now, I wanna draw attention to an absolute fact and that is the vast majority of people here in the United States, and this is probably true around the world, but here in the United States, 80% of the population lives paycheck to paycheck. And this is especially even scary right now during a time where there's a, I mean, if you're watching this video during the time of the quarantine and there's significant job loss and everything else centered around what's happening in the world right now. And then going back to 80% of people live paycheck to paycheck, that that really triggers our fear around, can we be a provider protector? Can we be someone, that, that biological aspect of being a provider protector? And for a lot of men, they experience shame when they're, in, when they're unable to be that to a partner. This is one of the reasons why dating is such a complicated thing. I mean, the reality is, is it's expensive to date. It's expensive to go through this proposition. And I know a lot of you women have been conditioned that men are chivalrous and they take the lead and you know they pay for dates and all that sort of thing. But a lot of guys are feeling fear that they have a hard enough time supporting themselves. And then are they gonna even be capable of supporting you? That's why a lot of men act wishy-washy and inconsistent, not because they don't care about you. It's because deep down, we have a fear of whether or not we're gonna be able to provide and protect because a lot of people aren't approaching the process as teamwork. 
has teamwork? Are, are we a team in this process of getting to know one another? Instead of resting it all on the man's shoulders, and men have, there are a lot of men that have fears around this. I know I personally do, and I've talked to many men. I've been in so many men's groups. I'm in a men's group of over 15,000 men. We've had these discussions over and over, and this is a common thread. Although this is more the subconscious is centered around the provider protector, but this really starts to percolate because what's really going on inside of many men is we feel shame that we're not able to do that. And it's one of the reasons why men can be hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, okay? Because there's a lot of fear and insecurity going on. The third one centers around body image. You know, um, especially men at midlife, they're losing their hair. I mean, I'm blessed, mom and dad, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's my mom and dad right there. <laughs> when they were uh, much younger than me, the thank you gave me a full head of hair. I happen to be six foot two. But so many, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm in that two percentile of men. But the average man is less than five foot 10. You know, it's five, nine and a half is the average height. As they age, they start to bald, they start to put on weight. And there's a fear that we're going to be rejected based on our body. And this isn't true of all men, certainly men that are, you know, in that major category or they've built up their self-confidence, but the average guy has fear centered around body image, just like a lot of you ladies do. This is, by the way, this is so hugely common for ladies because women have been objectified so much through advertising and through media and such. And men, on, to some level, because of Calvin Klein commercials and that sort of thing, have been objectified as well. So a lot of men have fears of rejection sent around their body as well. And, you know, with all three of these, you know, we're, we're human beings. We're riddled with insecurities and flaws. And a lot of people fake it on the outside and look like they got their shit together. But inside, they're scared to death that they're going to be rejected. This is why I'm such a huge proponent for compassion in the dating process and have compassion for guys and recognize that most men are good guys. They're just bad daters. And most of the time, they're not trying to hurt you or do anything. It's their fears are coming up that cause them to run away or do stupid things. I mean, I've seen, I know myself, I've done so many stupid things because I want a girl to like me that I stick my foot in my mouth a hundred times. And then I never get a second date because of it. And I, and I know this shit, you know? And by the way, I'm being a little tongue in cheek here, but I'm speaking for all men, not just Jonathan Asley here. All right, I just shared those three common insecurities. Uh, I hope you found value in this. I'd like to, I hope this resonates with you. If it does, please post a comment below. I'd like to have your, uh, share your thoughts, tell me what you think. If there's something you wanna add, please post a comment below. If you're brand new to my YouTube channel, click the, wherever the button is on which other side to subscribe and please tell your friends about my YouTube channel. I'm excited to shoot these videos for you and I'm, and I'm happy to do any content you like. Just please, please post a comment. Tell me what you'd like to talk about. Okay, I'm gonna sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.